Uchi Muraka Ho a Japanese writer. Uh, when I was a junior high school student, I published the first novel, Jusan Sai no Taido. And when I was a university student, I published the second novel, Inishigatari Ichi. Until I was a university student, I nearly wrote novels. When I was about to graduate from university, I started uh, writing poetry as well. Uh, at the university library, I picked up a few poetry magazines and I felt as if someone was telling me uh, to try writing poetry. Since the beginning of the pandemic, I also began to write uh, haiku, uh, tanka, and sindhi and submitting uh, them for hours. Uh, Japanese people believe that uh, spirit dwell in all things. What I feel when I compose poems, haiku, tanka, and senryu is that they have the rhythm of Japanese spirits. The cherry blossoms, geckos, flies, and uh, rice balls, the full moon, the stars, and the gentle breeze, and so on, are all telling me to compose things as haiku, tanka, and senryu. I compose their words uh, into letters with them. Sometimes uh, they ask me to compose uh, haiku, tanka, and senryu. Uh, that I have never thought of. For example, uh, one of my tanka is uh, on the night of the day I dropped 500 yen and there was a full moon and I found my lost item in the sky. <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, the full moon gave me this tanka as a gift uh, when I was walking down the street at night. I asked the full moon uh, as I walked if I could change the tanka uh, a little. In my mind, of course. But the full moon told me uh, uh, this tanka was good and absolutely good, so, and that uh, I should keep it as it was. As a result, uh, this tanka won a first prize. At uh, Tanka and at a newspaper Tanka competition. So I guess uh, the full moon was right. <laughs> tanka, haiku, and semu are short, so I try to convey the hunt as directly as possible. Poems and novels are longer, so I try to mix uh, in a little bit of my feelings with the hunch. It is like mixing a little bit of blue into red and to make it purple. When I can make a beautiful purple, I feel very happy. And the process uh, is the same. Whether I'm composing works in Jap Japanese, English, and other languages. Now, I'd like to talk about my poem, Bright and Clean in Tokyo. When I was uh, offered this interview, I was in Nagano Prefecture, where I won the grand prize at the 196th anniversary of Kobayashi Issa's passing haiku competition. And uh, I thought the scenery of Nagano and the photos I took in Seattle seven years ago uh, when I performed at the Seattle Cherry Blossom and Japanese Culture Festival were perfect for this poem. I hope you enjoy these photos as well. Since I experienced COVID-19 pandemic, I've thought, uh, I'm often thought about human death. Most Japanese people are cremated uh, when they die, and I wanted to introduce Japanese uh, cremation, so I wrote this poem. Death is rather sad, and 
uh, has a direct aspect but the coffee shop next to the crematorium is quiet um, well cleaned and the field with uh, silent light as if the fear of this is absorbed somewhere in the room the people who are being burned are about to pass the point of no return while we are right there uh, eating sandwiches as if nothing happened opposite world are contained and coexist in the same space and uh, this is repeated uh, day after day this is an unexplainable strange feeling that I want to share with you thank you for listening